Welcome everyone to our prayer journey with Maito Daily Devotion. You know, if I look back at my life, I could say that I have learned so many things and of the last few years at a much faster pace than I did before. And I'm starting to see some of the deep things of God uh, that I could more fully understand Him. In Psalm 27, verses 8 and 9, it says this, When thou said, Seek my face, my heart said to you, I will seek your face, Lord. A desire from the psalmist who wrote this psalm to seek God's face when God put it upon his heart to seek his face. I feel the last few months especially, God is drawing me to see him more closely than I ever did before. And I started to realize that words of the Bible are so deep sometimes that we only sometimes scratch the surface of an individual word. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. How do we seek God's face? Well, that is the first step. I am the way, Jesus. I am God, the way to God the Father. By going to Jesus, we have access in which we could say, I want to seek your face, Lord. If anybody's looking in and does not know the Lord, now's the time to seek God's face and ask him into your heart so that you would know the Lord. But God, Jesus is giving us real factual understanding of how to seek God's face, how to stay in his presence. I am the way. That's the door. That's how we go in. He is one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. The only one that lived perfect, that can present himself to God the Father on our behalf, so that we can enter into fellowship with him. I am the way, he said. He also said, I am the truth. Every word of God in our Bibles is put there so that we could know that Jesus was going to come, die, die suffer for our sins, and resurrect from the dead. All foretold through 66 books of the Bible, written over thousands of years at different times and in different places. I am the way. I am the truth. You can trust the word of God. I am the way, truth, and the life. Because when you come through the way and you study the word of God, the Holy Spirit will enlighten you to understand things much better than you did in the past. But there's an ingredient that is missing, that every day when we get up, we have to pick up. In Matthew 16, 24, it says, Then said Jesus unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself. Take up his cross and follow me. So what do we need to do? We need to daily make a decision. God, I'm all in. I'm all in. You are the way. You are showing me the truth through your word. And I have the Holy Spirit, the life that is inviting in me that I am sealed to the day of redemption, I will pick up my cross and follow you. I will deny myself. It is a daily decision to be made. I hope that you would make it each and every day. I know God has taught me a lot this last year to get up and pick up that cross and go make that daily commitment. And... Carrying a heavy weight like that, carrying your cross every day, sometimes you're going to stumble. Sometimes you might even fall. But when you cry out to God and repent, He will hear you. And He will confirm that your sins are forgiven. And that He is the way, the truth, and the life. 
I hope this devotion will get you back into your word more diligently than in ever time before. So until next time, may Jesus increase as we decrease.